Virgo, welcome to your Astro Flower reading. This is going to be a reading going from the 12th through to the 19th of December. Have you seen the collective readings or for December and your individual reading? It'll be linked at the end of this one. Uh, quite a changing month in a way. Changing the way things are settling down as it were. Let's see what your overall energy is straight away on this reading here. It's a light bulb moment. It's a realization. It's um, things are really starting to dovetail into uh, uh, dovetail together. When you start working on ourselves, when you start manifesting things, that's when the universe can sort of turn around and help you out. Once you start leading the way, this is what it's all about. That person there is leading the way. That's what the energy is coming through here. And as it dovetails in, then you're going to be pulling even more in. And this week here, you're going to, I think this is what the realization that the universe and everything in the universe is there to help you out. It's just a case that you need to give direction and uh, energy to what you're doing. And you will find that the rest of the universe is playing with you. Let's just see how it's going on with the uh, relationship front. This is the karmic message. So I was just checking, I need to check something to see if it was working. Yeah, it, it's it's like your fires have been relit, basically. If you've been having difficulties within relationships um, and just finding how you sit in relationships if you've been finding it difficult in that sort of sense that you really haven't it's not a shoe in straight away i think you're going to find now that it's rekindling your fires and your passions going forward uh, and as it does you know it's that's you're going to you're going to feel like you you're much more in synchronization synchronization is that a word synchronization yeah it is Synchronize in synchronicity with others and everything that is around you. And this is going to be, this is where things can really start flowing from you uh, in regards to your relationships. This is where you can really feel at ease to give and to receive. It's going to be, uh, you know, really nice, actually, really beautiful realization. Let's just see how the universe is influencing this. They're pushing for this greater consciousness. So it's, it's getting into um, your family, your friends, your community, the people that you're with, maybe even a partner as well, you know, discovering that new flame of love within your sort of thing. This is, as you do this, then the universe is kind of like in sort of encouraging like the human race to sort of gradually come together in one big hug of a life, of living a life. And I think this is where they're trying to encourage that. Yeah, it's providing healing. It's it's that hug. It's that security. It's that feeling of um, I don't. I can look after myself now. I can I can reheal. I can re you know feather my nest as it were. Make myself comfortable, and that's the sort of thing. Make yourself feel at home with the with the other people that are around you. So you feel free to express yourself and stuff like that. Let's just see how the guys are trying to influence this karmic message. They've come off high alert, and they're and they're they're enjoying uh, they're enjoying invigorating you with coincidences and situations, and it's almost like going window shopping with your best friend. You know what I mean? Or you know, uh, going just going out somewhere with your best friend and just enjoying that moment of where yeah you're, yeah you're just enjoying life, and then you, there's possibilities and stuff like that. And yeah, it's the feeling of a new cycle coming through. This is what the, you know, you guys are trying to encourage within you, sort of like this. So it's a, it's it's not just about today. It's not just about this week. It's a whole new cycle that the guides are trying to encourage you to realize that you've got within you. And that's what that reuniting of your fire and your passion is all about. Let's just see how the um, guys are trying to influence the conversation that is within you.
This is for earth signs, I think. I think you're going to feel a lot more at ease to just say things to, and it's going to be, uh, it's going, there's a lot of encouragement, a lot of sort of, oh, well done, yeah, excellent. Yeah, there's a lot of encouragement, a lot of a victory, there's a lot of, a, um, uh, yeah, sensation of sort of really being a, a, within sync, within within the vibration of the things that are around you. And it's going to give birth to that new or old you in a way, um it's feeling confidence to allow that those you know that childish side of you to come out and play without feeling any sort of current consequences uh hitched to it you know um and so you know you're giving birth to this new cycle and this is what the guys are trying to encourage as well um for you to do this and realizing it and i think this could be the realization realizing that it's coming from you that is really important. Let's just have a look what's going on on the financial side. Here's the uh, uh, karmic message here. There's a lot of opportunities. There's a lot of moments of realizing that, yeah, this is the time. Uh, or look at that. Oh, I could do that. And I could do that. The choice is that may well be the most difficult thing for you. saying goodbye to complicated situations you've got that choice to realize what you couldn't see before you now can by walking away um or i think this is tied to the past i think you have walked away from complicated situations in the past and now you realize that within you so you can walk forward to those much more fortuitous and uh you know abundant sort of joyful abundant sort of opportunities in the future or, or the progression of life or just going down your path of life it's really nice um it's the coming to the end of uh the overall the energy that was flowing through that through the bottom of that deck there was the five of pentacles and I think that's really, I think we're really talking about the past here. I think you're closing off a lot of uh, thoughts or avenues or illusions that you might have had according to your job, your business, your projects and stuff like that. And you're getting down to the nitty gritty and then you're enjoying that. Um, yeah, it's setting up those healthy boundaries up that are in the past I did this or in the past I did that or in the past I was hoping for this or wanting that. Um, and it was not realistic and I was being a fool to myself and you're learning by the past here and this is what this rite of passage is all also about it's learning about it and once you've learned it you can impl impl implement it once you implement it then you're going to learn something else in the going future we all do and it's just this sort of knock-on effect that's going through your life at the moment and as it knocks on it's going to provide a lot of space and I think a very good, you know, a very nice financial coming year. Let's just see um, what's going on. Your your yearly readings will be coming out on Sunday night for the collective on Sunday night, and your sign coming out on the Monday night. Okay, so let's just see that this is a, there's a lot of heat. There's a lot of passion here. You may be connecting with aspects of your life that you may have not necessarily forgotten about, but almost put in the back drawer. You know what I mean? Put the back burner. And they're sort of, you know, they're reinvigorating within you. Um, and it's, yeah, it's like, you know, with this sort of new cycle playing across here and you've got to write a passage, it is okay to dream. Don't, you know, I, I talked about illusions and stuff like that before. There is a definite difference between illusion and vision. Um, uh, go into that on Cymatic TV and to do with energy and how energy works. And um, it's like, you, you've also got to realize that you've got to want something. Therefore, that's your vision of what you're going to need. So, uh, uh, of what you want. So then there you you're going to know what you're going to need at the situation. But at the moment, I think it's a case of really looking at the horizon, kind of going, I'd like that, I'd like that. And just picking out the ingredients of the cake you want to make for 2023. Looks really nice. 
So don't be don't be scared as well to dream and to believe, as it were. You know, believe in yourself, believe in miracles, and that sort of thing. So see how the guys are trying to influence this conversation that is within you. They're being very business-like here. This is on the financial side. So this is to do with your job and your business and your projects. Um, yeah, they're being very um, matter-of-fact business about this. This is a good moment for you to make good, solid strides forward. And this could be with people that you enjoy being with, you know. Uh, but it is, yeah, it's expressing those pleasures and those desires to do what you want to do. Uh, and when you start connecting with people who can offer you opportunities within that, maybe a job or uh, opportunities for your business or your project, once you realise that, then you can play on that whole pleasure about what you do. Um, and it's going to make you really see with a burning passion about what you could get out of this situation. It's a really exciting time for you, actually, Virgo. There's a lot of things under the surface just under the skin at the moment, and it's as it's coming through, it's going to be, it's going to be nice to see how you run into um, Capricorn season. Now, uh, let's just see what the overall out, um, what the overall outcome, how these sort of come bind together. There's big plans, talk of the town sort of scenario, um, but it's going to need effort from your part. Now, that could be, um, it could be pure work. Um, or it could be investment in the relationships that are around you, um, but it could also mean moving uh, quite big distances, uh, not just around the corner. It's 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 making a, 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 making a decision and moving on, uh, moving on to brighter pastures uh, for you. Basically, yeah, you're at that port. It's not the moment to do that. Make that decision. It's the moment to investigate it. So the, this. The three of wands can see the waves coming in. She's a surfer. I'll just show you this guy. She's a surfer. She's looking out there and she's looking at the um, the waves that are are going around, uh, basically. And she can see the sets coming in. So she's deciding what sort of set, you know, what sort of set of waves she wants to surf and which is the best way to paddle out and stuff like that. And that's the same sort of thing with the harbour master because that's what it represents is like you've got possibilities coming in and the trade in which you can do in your life in order then to sort of trade out was to send the ships out and sending the ships out is why not you getting on one of them i think you've i think the opportunities are coming in and i think it's a good time for you to observe those opportunities coming in not only on your financial side but also on your relationship side this week of passage, and you're not the only one to get this rite of passage within this position as well. Uh, with this rite of passage, you've got this notion of the possibility for you to observe what's going on around you at the moment this week. To see the real opportunities for you. And your guides are being really savvy about this. And they're going to really help you out. It's going to be a fantastic week. Um, it's fantastic things going on on this channel as well. Um, there's loads more different types of readings coming out. They are going to blow your mind. I know they're blowing my mind. I'm really enjoying doing them and seeing how they work out. And it's tying more into my energy work, uh, my healing work. So keep an eye on this channel. Uh, you're really gonna, you really want to be here from Christmas onwards. There's loads of stuff going on. I thank you very much, uh, Virgo, for your support for this channel of being here. Absolute beautiful i do appreciate it uh in the meantime uh, don't forget life should be fun so please do enjoy